JUST A ROBOT! Before I begin this video, I just want to make a quick update. You may have noticed a new location. Well, that's because I'm in Scotland right now. I don't have very much access to the internet, so I'm trying my very hardest to upload this video. With that being said, let's get on with the commentary. 26 questions Asians have for white people. Since every single person and their grandma have answered these questions already, I try to answer the questions slightly differently. For one thing, I don't answer questions with another question, and I also don't say, I don't do that. Why do you think every Asian person is Chinese? It's because China is by far the biggest Asian country. People from other countries mistake Canadians for Americans all the time. It's really no big deal. That's like me saying to like a white person, hey, you're English. I am English. F At least they have a sense of humor this time. It's good to see that they're learning. Why do you think a film or TV show is diverse just because there are one or two black people in it? We're here too. All 5% of you. Here's the thing. If seeing Asians in movies mean that much to you, then go watch a Japanese movie. Why are the awkward nerd characters the only roles available for Asians in film? We do a lot of other stuff too. You know as well as I do that's not the only role for Asian people to play. Also, I don't even think it's the main role. Most Asian characters that I have seen are doing karate, kung fu, and other martial arts. Why are all of you talking about our penises? Because they're small and pathetic. White people kind of tell you that every single time. So I don't know why you have to ask this question. Why do you think Asians can't be the stars of movies? There aren't gonna be any Asian celebrities out there to cast if we haven't been given a chance yet. Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, barely any Asians in America. Go watch a movie from Japan. Why do you think watching Korean dramas and K-pop makes you an expert on Korean culture? Like, does me watching girls make me an expert in white culture? It does. I think it would have been better if you said, why do you think watching anime makes you an expert on Japanese culture? But to answer your question, I agree. People who think they're an expert on another culture just because they watched a few shows from that country are really stupid. However, it's not a white thing. Pretty much every single country has people like that. Why do you cast white people to play roles that are meant for Asian people? I'm not gonna forget Emma Stone. People switch around the races of characters all the time. It's really no big deal. And it doesn't just happen to Asian characters. Why do you think saying namaste is an appropriate way to greet me? Yamaste. <laughs> uh, has anybody ever said yamaste to you? Really? Why do you think saying ni hao is a good thing to say to us? If you're not actually gonna converse with me in Chinese, I don't need to hear it. It's because it's polite to greet people in their native language. If I was in a different country and everybody was speaking a different language and someone walked up to me and said hello, that would make me feel a lot better. Why do you think I eat dogs? I have two dogs. Why if someone assumes you eat dogs just because you're an Asian, then that person's a racist. However, you should know that there are some Asians that do eat dogs. Why do you think that Hindi and Hindu are the same thing? Why I guess it's because no one ever told me. But now someone has. So, um, thanks. Even though I don't see how this information will help me in any way whatsoever, but thanks. Why are you so surprised that I can speak English well? I was born in America. Some Asians who are born in America speak broken English. Or as I like to call it, English. If someone said to you that they were surprised you spoke English properly, that person probably grew up around a bunch of Asians who spoke English. Why do you always ask me, you know, where are you really from? Because obviously I'm from my mom's vagina. Why do you guys think it's okay to call me an immigrant or a foreigner? I was born in America. Okay, BuzzFeed. I know you're not generalizing all white people when you ask these questions, and these questions are just for specific white people, but do you know what would be awesome, BuzzFeed? If you ask these questions in the moment, instead of holding on to them and putting them in a video. I'm sorry, BuzzFeed, but I lack the ability to get in the heads of these white people. Why do you think Indians aren't Asians? India is literally in Asia. For the same reason why Russians are not considered Asian, even though Russia is in Asia. 
Also for the same reason why white people born in America are still called European. Why do you say it's basically the same thing when I tell you I'm from Sri Lanka and not India? They're different countries. They may be different countries, but their culture is pretty similar. People say Canadians and Americans are basically the same thing. It's really no big deal. Why does a person of color automatically mean black to you? I'm a person of color too. I don't really think anyone should be called a person of color. Unless they're like a really weird color, like orange or something. Kind of like Donald Trump. Why do you think all brown people are Indian? The overwhelming majority of people who are your shade of brown are from India. India is an extremely overpopulated country. It's half the size of America and has three times the people. Why do you think you deserve a high five for pronouncing my name correctly? Maybe because it's a really hard name to pronounce. Why do you think including diversity in the workplace reduces the quality of work? I thought you thought we were all nerds. No, it's forced diversity that ruins the quality of work. Like when a company hires someone, not because of what they can do, but just so they can fill a quota. Why do you think it's okay to call me exotic? I mean, technically we're the largest part of the world population, so shouldn't white people be exotic? Being exotic depends on what race you are and where you are. For example, if a white British person went to some place like Jamaica, they would be considered exotic. Why do you think I can't see properly? Do you really think my eyes are that small? Why is this a question for specifically white people? I'm pretty sure every other race, except for Asians of course, have groups of people who ask this kind of question. Why is it weird when all Asian people hang out, but it's fine when all white people hang out? Probably because they get together and make videos like this. But in all seriousness, maybe they just think it looks weird because they never seen it before. So tell me, what does a sunburn feel like? You do realize that anyone can be sunburned, right? If you really want to know, just stand in the sun for a really long time. But if you don't have the patience for that, you can pour steaming hot bleach all over yourself. But in all seriousness, don't pour steaming hot bleach all over yourself, that's fucking awful. Why do you keep trying to justify yellow fever? I don't know why they use fever for all these things. It's not a disease, it's just fucking. I agree. Why are we being stereotyped as cheap or stingy? Maybe I'm just cost efficient. Maybe it's because you say shit like this all the time. Mom, Dad, this is Alan. It's a pleasure Where to meet- Where you go college? Uh, Tufts? Never heard, not real school, what you do? I'm an eco-consultant. What that? That sounds stupid. How much you make? About 200,000 per year. Welcome to family. Also, I think Jews are stereotyped as being cheap way more than Asians are. Why do you think all Asian people are smart? I used to, but then I saw this video. My eyes have seen the glory of the cleansing of YouTube. Debunking SJWs and feminazis too. We criticize reactionists in hopes they get the boot. Just the robot marches on.